guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. In this video, I am sharing my kitchen table makeover. So my kitchen table was painted and I wanted to strip the paint and get back down to the wood. So I don't really wanna call this a tutorial since I had never done it before and I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but I just thought I would share my process with you guys and hopefully you'll get some tips and tricks and learn what not to do from my own mistakes. So here's a look at what my kitchen table looked like before. The tabletop was painted white and the legs black. I didn't not like it, but I did wanna bring back some of the wood tones and the finish on the top of the table was starting to wear off. So I started by removing all the legs, which was pretty easy since they're just screwed on. And the product that I ended up using is Citrus Strip. Since this is my first time stripping any furniture, I don't really have a lot to compare it to. So I followed the instructions using a paintbrush and just slathering the product on. After reading some reviews online, I did learn that for the product to work properly, the Citrus Strip has to stay wet and it seems to dry rather quickly, which is unfortunate. So I do believe the direction said it only needs to sit for about a half an hour or an hour before you're able to start stripping, but this was highly incorrect. I let it sit for I think about two to three hours and when I went to start scraping, the paint was still very gobbed on there. Like I said, most of the product had dried. It was very gummy, definitely not ready. So what I did was kind of scrape that initial layer I put on off and then gobbed more of the citrus strip on there and used a wire brush to really work the product into the grain of the wood. So here's what that looks like. And then I covered it with plastic to make sure it stayed moist and left it overnight. So that definitely did the trick if you're using the product. The directions are not accurate in my opinion. You're gonna wanna leave it overnight and you're gonna wanna cover it. So then I was able to use a large scraper and scrape all the product off and it definitely worked much better. Another little tip is to keep a cardboard box by you so you can wipe the end of your scraper off. That was a lot easier than trying to put it in a plastic garbage bag. I again used the wire brush to really work into the grooves of the wood to make sure I got all the white paint out. That was definitely the trickiest part of this project because that paint had settled so far into some of the grooves. After I got everything scraped off, I then used a steel wool pad and this paint stripper afterwash to clean the surface. The citrus strip is super sticky, super messy. I even felt like this afterwash wasn't doing quite the job to get it off. I had to scrub super, super hard. And then after that, I went in with the mineral spirits and just a microfiber cloth and tried to clean up any remaining residue. Then after the wood was dry, I moved on to sanding. So since I had to use that rough wire brush to really, really get in the grooves of this table, it definitely got a little beat up. So I knew I was gonna have to do some serious sanding. I have an orbital disc sander, which I absolutely love. So that made this process go a lot quicker than if I had to do it by hand. And basically what I did was start with a rougher grit sandpaper. So I think I started with 80 and then 150 and then I think 220. So using the finer sandpaper gave it a nice smooth finish and I was able to get any of those scratches out. So then I wiped off all the dust and made sure I had a clean slate for staining. I also opted to use this pre-stain wood conditioner. I use this for any time I stain. It just helps to make sure your stain looks like even and not blotchy. So I used a lint-free rag and put the pre-stain wood conditioner down. And then after that dried for the allotted amount of time, I went ahead and started staining. Again, I am using a lint-free rag. I prefer to use a rag over a brush or a foam brush because I feel like it gives me more control over the stain and it doesn't go on super heavy. The stain I chose to do is called Special Walnut and I ended up doing two coats of the stain.
So then for my top coat sealer, I just use some water-based polyurethane with a satin finish, and I like to use a sponge brush to apply my finishes. I ended up doing either two or three coats to really make sure it was sealed. And so initially I had planned to strip the legs of this table and stain those to match as well. But after the hassle the top was and how difficult it is to scrape the paint off, I decided I was just going to repaint the legs. Since these aren't flat, trying to scrape them would be a nightmare. So I went ahead and just decided I was gonna spray paint these from black to white. I just used my go-to, which is Rust-Oleum satin white paint. And then for the top coat, I used the satin clear enamel. Did about two coats of that to make sure it was sealed in. And then after everything was dried and sealed and ready to go, I put the legs back on the table. You can see the base of the tabletop is painted white, which it previously was painted white. So all I had to do was touch that up just a little bit. So then I reinstalled all the legs and here is what my table ended up looking like. I'm really happy with the results, although it was a complete pain to get there. This little dining area of my kitchen still needs some work, but it is slowly but surely getting there. Both my dining table and chairs were all thrifted, so to buy and redo all this, I probably ended up spending around $200 for everything, which I think is a steal. If you wanna see how I reupholstered and painted my dining chairs, I'll have that video linked below for you. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you or inspired you in any way. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you like DIY type of videos like this. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.